Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out which is better, NordVPN or Surfshark. These are two of the biggest VPNs out there. You're going to see a lot of people shilling them and a lot of people comparing them. So thanks for checking out this video in advance. We're going to be doing an unbiased, objective comparison between these two VPN providers. Check the description as well as pin comment down below. You'll be able to find a link there that should give you the best pricing going on right now. If you buy with that link, it'll also help support the channel. Um, even the, though none of these VPN providers pay me directly through sponsorships. This is an unsponsored channel, affiliates only. So we do a pretty good job here of staying objective. Let's go ahead and check out which is better, NordVPN or Surfshark in 2022. But wait, Tom, why should we listen to you? You're just some random guy on the internet, right? Wrong. I'm not just some random guy. I'm the guy who created the first VPN tier list. Now, I've pretty much created every single VPN out there, and this is something no one else has ever done. I've been doing this for around five years now, and I've probably spent thousands of hours of reviewing VPNs. And that means these reviews are the most accurate on the internet, bar none. So guys, just to be transparent going forward, uh, one reason I wanted to make this video uh, was because of some news going on lately. Um, NordVPN and Surfshark are pretty much now the same company. They have completely merged. Um, they will continue to operate independently, whatever that means, having two separate brands probably with different employees, different customer support, um, and stuff like that. However, for most people concerned, the applications are very similar. The speeds are going to be similar. The pricing is even going to be similar. Overall, the companies are going to be very, very similar and have been since pretty much they were both around. That's because both these VPNs were operated and kind of developed by the same kind of parent company. Tessanet is a Lithuanian company that started Nord and has Nord as a list of products. And then it helped incubate and start Surfshark for the first two years. Um, so it kind of did the same thing with Surfshark. Surfshark was kind of like an unrelated um, brand that wasn't under the parent company Tessanet, but now they both are. So not really too much differences there in terms of how they were created. Exactly. Like I said, just a little bit different employees and stuff like that. And a little bit of different operating day to day. But now the two brands seem to be pretty much merged and sharing information and and stuff like that, as well as resources. So that's kind of interesting to kind of think about, you know, does it even really matter which one you purchase? Well, maybe not. And if that's enough for you, maybe click on some of my links down below and pick the one that has the coolest name. There you go. If you guys want a little bit more details, we can do that right here. If we look at both NordVPN and Surfshark, we've rated them objectively point by point, and you can see as two brands, they are very similar. In terms of pricing, they're about the same price, offer the same things. However, Surfshark is a little bit better because it offers unlimited simultaneous connections, which means if you have a lot of devices, you could use more with Surfshark. So that's kind of a cool thing with Surfshark. So keep that in mind. Another thing with Surfshark is that it is slightly cheaper long term. That's because you could get 24 months for 60 bucks. Then respectively after that, it's around 60 bucks a year. However, NordVPN has a price increase of around $100 a year, I think, after the first term. So I would say that overall in terms of pricing, I would recommend probably Surfshark as the better option. Going into the application though, we could see both offerings here. I do think NordVPN has a little bit more of a fleshed application, even though both <laughs> VPN applications are very similar in terms of the construction and backend, even stuff like the open VPN configurations and stuff like that, as noted by some other people. That said, I think NordVPN does have a little bit more of that fleshed out feature set just because it's been around for a little bit longer and they've probably put more money in the application. They have more DNS controls, which can be used to um, change your DNS. They also have stuff like SOX5 proxy support, which can be used in outside applications um, to torrent or whatever you want to do with those. They also have dedicated IPs as an add-on that you can use. They both are pretty similar applications in terms of UI and stuff like that and function pretty much the same way. Surfshark has a little bit more of a darker kind of blue theme. NordVPN is kind of a bright and blue theme. Um, so it kind of just depends on you. I do wish NordVPN had a dark theme and that's a little nitpicky thing um, but overall, it kind of is just up to you which one you like in terms of what looks better. I would say, though, that NordVPN does have a more fully fleshed out application overall and has more tiny bit more features. 
Next up, we can take a look at speeds, and we've compared both of these speed tests in the past before, and they were pretty much identical, using the same backend infrastructure even before, seemingly, and now definitely probably going to be using similar kind of um, uh, costs and servers and stuff like that. So both of them are pretty fast. Um, and my tests, maybe not always the fastest VPN, but definitely pretty fast nonetheless, and should be pretty good with WireGuard implementations. Nord has this like Nord Lynx protocol, but essentially it's just kind of their like relabeling of a WireGuard protocol, which is actually developed by Jason Donafield. Surfshark uses WireGuard as well. It doesn't have its own little fancy name, but it's pretty much the same thing. So overall, about the same there. Next up, let's take a look at the privacy audit, which is going to be, you know, how private is each VPN? How privacy friendly is it? And they're pretty much going to be both loaded with trackers on the website, trackers on Android. And they're not going to be able to pass those tests like using open source analytics that are more privacy friendly than Google Analytics. Fortunately, though, they do have two factor authentication on each one and some complimentary privacy services offered password managers, stuff like that, which can be kind of useful if you do want to stay within the ecosystem. Some people say you shouldn't use password managers and stuff like that with VPN providers, and that's kind of up to you. I would like to see encrypted email as an option, but unfortunately, only TorGuard offers that in terms of my top VPNs. You see Proton offering that as well, but it's a bit more expensive than TorGuard. Um, if we look at the data leaks and stuff like that, we are giving a slight advantage to Surfshark um, because NordVPN did have an issue with some unsecured servers. At the time, they blamed it on the server provider, um, but a lot of people kind of criticized them for not being transparent enough about the issue. And later on, they did do stuff like public audits, bug bounty programs, and stuff like that. A lot of people have kind of forgot about the issue, but a lot of people kind of haven't. So that's something to think about. So it's kind of up to you. Kind of similar here. Honestly, I would like to see both VPNs improve in terms of the website trackers and stuff like that. Um, that's something they could think about improving, but honestly, similar once again. Next up in customer support, they actually did pretty good this year. They do seem to be hiring more people for customer support. And both um, Surfshark and Nord were able to respond to my tickets within an hour, which is actually really good. Both also have live chat too, I think, which is also pretty cool. They definitely seem to have supported and upgraded their customer support and no complaints from me overall. Lastly, we could talk about streaming and honestly, both of these VPNs do pretty good. They might not be as flexible as something like WeVPN, which is my top recommended streaming provider here on the channel for unblocking geo-restricted websites with Netflix and other ones. However, both do work with most of the main versions of Netflix as well as other streaming applications out there like Hulu, BBC iPlayer, and some of those other ones. So guys, overall, which one should you buy, Surfshark or NordVPN? Well, Surfshark actually has a little bit of a higher rating here in an aggregate total compared to NordVPN, mainly just because of that um, new kind of factor. They never got that data leak. If they didn't have these three points, it would actually be lower rated than NordVPN, primarily because NordVPN is a more fully fleshed out application. That said, Surfshark is a little bit cheaper long term, especially after the first term renewal. So that's also something to think about. Honestly, guys, I would probably go with NordVPN here just because it's a little bit more of a fleshed out product than it was the first one the company had developed. Surfshark is just kind of like a copy paste clone in a lot of ways. Not to say anything bad about it per se or dismiss the products or say that employees aren't good there because they do seem to be working hard on that as a company. However, both VPNs, especially now that they're merged, Surfshark does feel a little bit less relevant in my opinion. Um, but it's kind of up to you. Which one do you want to buy? Remember, if you decide you like one of these VPNs, so check out the links in the comment or description down below, or check out some of the other VPNs on vpntierless.com. I've rated pretty much every single VPN out there across the years, and I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.